Hello Gothic friends, Razin is my name. Welcome back to the world's Let's Play of the World Gothic 2 Live Edition Hardcore. In this episode we are going to talk to the Magicians of Fire and tell us the stuff about uh, Erderata because apparently we have to... Oh, what was that? We went through the door. Wait, mercenary. I need to talk to you. Oh. What do you want? The monastery is facing a very delicate situation. At the moment, everyone seems to mistrust everybody else. And then, this thing with Pedro... That's extremely... I have an assignment for you from the highest authorities. You're not a member of the Brotherhood of the Fire, and therefore, the only one here who can settle this matter for us. But I must warn you, if I give you this assignment, you'll be bound to fulfill it too. Once you know what it's about, you'll have no choice. Do you understand? Sounds scary. Tell me what you want. All right. Then Experience. listen well, Very good. for I'm only going to say this once. Serpentes wants you to kill Pedro for his treason. As soon as you lay your hands on him, you will be paid as soon as this task is fulfilled. I never said that, and you haven't heard anything either. Understand? Wait a minute. Okay, and how do we get money? I need a. How are we going to get the ma on the money? Very good. Oh, fire rain! Damn it! That's what we miss. Oblivion would have been very good. Demons are very good. I guess that's it. We need an Oblivion. I believe. Not sure. Okay, we got Fire Rain. Two of them. Where are we going to use those? Probably there are some powerful stuff. Anything's possible. Talk to us, he's way too important. Right Repentus, is there anything else you want to tell me? Dismissed. Good news the roadside Ooh, shrines right. have been purified. Next the level, we have to do that also. Has helped the paladins to remove this problem from the world. You may once again make your donations to Enos without reservation or regret. Thank you. Any news? Not at the moment. Pyrocar. I talked to the dragons. I talked to the dragons. What did they say? They kept talking about the power of their master and how he settled in the halls of Irdarath. Enos be with us. The Black Temple has regained its power and is now sending its henchmen into our world. That's what they do. All the dragons are dead. Nobody's rewarding that us for killing them, damn it. Indeed, but it does nothing to change our situation, which seems hopeless. The How's seekers that? still have not left. On the contrary, I hear more and more reports that during these last few days, their numbers have even increased. Killing off the dragons has dealt the enemy a blow, but it did not suffice. We need to do this it's evil me, not by you. the roots. What are these halls of Irdarath? The Eastern Invocation Temple of the God Beliar. There are four of them in the land of Mertana, but this one is probably the most terrifying temple of all. About 40 years ago, the northern and western temples of this horrible deity were destroyed. The brave knights of that time gave their all to raise those mighty constructions to the ground. Back then, the black hordes of the enemy were helpless against the superior numbers and the heroic courage of the knights and paladins. It would have been easy to destroy the other two temples as well and rid the land of evil forever. But after the second temple fell, they simply disappeared. A whole building. Disappeared. An entire temple. Yeah, right. Do not mock me. <laughs> the situation is serious. If the halls of Idurath have indeed regained their power, then it will not be easy to defeat the enemy. For that, you would have to find it first. And I think that this will be your next and hardest task. Yeah, while well, you guys relax, see. yeah. Zardis's book, which was believed to be lost, where is it? I have been expecting you would ask that. But I fear that it will be of no help to you. It has been magically sealed. I took it to one of our lower vaults. And even we have so far tried in vain to open You guys it. lost two that buildings. How could you lose two buildings? A dirty trick on us. Can I see the book? Be my guest. 
I cannot imagine you being successful where the greatest masters of our monastery have failed. But go ahead and give it a try. Talamon is not going to stop you. How does he know about that, Talamon? Those stuff make no sense sometimes. So it says in the scriptures. I forgot, can we even go here? Normally there was the key. Ah, there it is, the key. The library. What are you doing here? Stealing your wallet? That's totally obvious. Show me your wares. Right, the army of darkness, that's very good. And three demons, yeah. We have so many demons, but the demons are very needed. What are you doing here? What exactly is your job? It is my responsibility to train mages in the art of spherical manifestation. What does that mean? Well, I teach them how to summon creatures or beings from other states or spheres. This is usually called summoning, although this expression alone is insufficient for the art of calling a servant. Furthermore, I own some interesting spell scrolls which Gorax does not have. How are your studies coming along? The enemy has many faces. Which of them presents the greatest danger for the monastery is awfully difficult to determine. Okay, then what about you? Highglass. Master Highglass. Master. Guardian of the fire and keeper of the knowledge. Oh, your wallet is more than welcome. What are you studying, Master? My research focuses on fire, the power of Enos. It is his gift and at the same time a mighty weapon, and I create runes which contain his power. And that's it. Quite, quite poor. Oh, library? Oh, what's Sergio, okay? Sergio, you have nothing hey, for us, right? May in May Enos eliminate your path, yes, we know about that. We have to level up once, learn the next five dexterity, and then we can pray. That's just what I said. Because we are going to get strength also. But we can go down below the the monastery. There is going to happen stuff. Not pleasant stuff. Oh wait, that's where we came from. Talamon is... Alright, oh, right. there we could have pray prayed. You are not permitted to go further. Turn back. Pyrocar says I'm allowed to examine Zardis. That's so weak. <laughs> so he says that. Alright, you may enter. The book you are looking for is over there on the alchemist bench. That's just what I said. More money. Quite quite rich. We have Army of Darkness, that's good for for some orcs. That's just what I said. Nothing here. Book stand, I think they teach us nothing, not those ones. No idea, you tell me. You tell him. Day sixty six. I remember when I first got here also, I keep having these nostalgic moments. It felt so awesome that after so long time we were allowed to come here. So it says in the scriptures. Also of Erdurat. Same old thing all over again. No one must violate the... Book is here, we have the spell to open. Zarek Bangardo. Ah, the book's Anything open. There's a letter and a key hidden inside. Lamp car carries lights to our levels, levels, levels. Can't rely on that. that tells us how Sardas concealed the stuff, and this is the lamp. 1000 experience, very nice. Yeah, we are going to need that. There is nothing except one thing. Here. Don't even need a shield now. Be able to, to be a better fighter. Oh, it's raining outside. I found a secret door. What? Where? Behind a bookshelf. What's behind it? It looks like an old underground vault. 
That is important news. I shall inform Pyrocar of it immediately. Wasn't he Meanwhile, supposed to give us experience? You must find out what's in this cellar. That's just what I said. Yeah, the raining stuff, it's a bit weird that it's raining here. So we are going to have a hard time in here. All the skeletons. Holy crap, there were too many. If we don't crit, then we are done. You have to crit, my friend. My friendly skeletons. Very nice. Oh, he wasn't able to hit us. Very good. Oh, that was quite pleasant. Yeah, we are quite, quite strong now. Yeah, we are wasting too many arrows. Wow, how many did we lure because of the increased arrow range? Oh! Nice, another crit. We have to heal ourselves before something else happens. Oh, the Tekla still is perfect. Holy moly doly. How many did we lure? Yeah, we have to do that, sadly. Why are they being stuck on the... Wow, did we lure every single one of them or what? Oh, we, we hit through the block finally. Right, we have to collect their stuff also. They don't care. How many did we really lure here? Why is it doing this? There's some some weird shenanigans were were happening here. The arrows don't really pass through the through this place. All right, I believe Xarda says said something about the light is showing the right way. Oh, we lure those, those also. But the lamps, like the, they are showing where we have to go. Dead end. Here is a dead end. Two. Could have arrow him to the death. The skeletons were so scary before, but now, yeah, we can tank them like no tomorrow. Even though we killed skeletons much, much earlier in the game. Very good that you guys died, and you don't know that you had so many skeletons down below here, right? Why would you, actually? We need one more apple. We are going to get the apple in the... The Arkandar, they are going to have a, a lot of them. Saving isn't bad. Sometimes we get stun lock. I feel like I, I'm getting stun lock, but I believe it's just my... My bad experience.
I believe after we finish with, uh, with the monastery, we are going to level up. Healing again wouldn't be bad. Yeah, like those stuff have to be used. That's why we keep them. Oh, we have swamp weed. I thought there was a lot more swamp weed that we would have. Wow, oh, look at our healing. Almost perfect. Holy lowly. Three of you at once. That's no bueno. They've summoned a, a monster here. Can we kill you, please? Okay, do you guys mind? Wait. Killing first would be a smarter idea. Luckily we play with a with a fire like this, but whatever. Oh the crit I I do dig it. Do you guys mind if I do some arrows again? Oh, what the hell? Where is that guy coming from? Didn't even expect him to be there. They're coming through the wall or what? How oh, many skeletons are here? Damn it. What did Xardas do here? Kill everyone and made them a skeleton or what? Oh yeah, let's eat those. We can speed it up, you know. We have this. We need one more anyway. Oh, actually, we ate one before, so we are quite good. One more and we have 60. So oh, here, have we been? I believe yes. Yeah, we have been there. I couldn't get away with that. There is a mage skeleton that we have to be careful with. They didn't get rid of the stun lock for them, so... We can actually, you know, just... Just spoil it. Nothing, Not sp there. nothing there? Weren't we supposed to get something out of him? Wow. Level oh, we are not going to level up here. I thought we would really level up. There are skeletons here and demons and stuff. Oh, perfect. That was perfect. Yeah, they, they do that a lot. They circle us, you know. They are smart. And if we don't crit, we are going to regret it doing this. Crit and kill the guy. Luckily, we hear the demons. But this game makes you pay attention to the sounds and... We weren't even close to dying, right? We can brag about it. Oh, we can eat a lot of those stuff. Oh, this is percentage. Okay, that's good. What can we do? Oh, this weapon, the shield we can equip again. Very good. Hopefully no more skeletons. Nice, we can hit them actually. 
Yeah, actually they did something good here. They, they bugged it. Wow, we really hit it from afar. Oh, right, because they are flying and somehow the... The flying stuff, it's much easier for us to hit. Potions, potions, potions. Okay. We came here and we go to the right. We are always right. Right? Book stand. There is something else here somewhere. Oh, the sea chart. Ocean, this is going to kill us. Mm. 2000 experience, so very that's good. That's where you're hiding out. Damn far away. I'll need a ship to get there. Almanac. That teaches us how to get our highest armor of great armor for the weapon. 1000 and 2000. Yeah, we got a lot of experience still. We are far, far, far away. Yes, it's over, right? Nothing else is going to spawn, or actually they could spawn something more. Because we know the guys now do like to spawn stuff. So the lights, they say it's showing the way. Yeah, and it was right. Sardas was the right guy. I believe we are done now. The weapon, I don't know how to craft it. I haven't really played with that. Goblin berries, we don't have any more, right? The grave mass, none. Year of Enos, we cannot use as far as I know. Nothing, okay. The weapon forging and stuff, yeah, we could get another thousand and still not enough, damn it. There was a skeleton warrior down there guarding a door. I killed him. Well done. We shall deal with the hey, skeleton warrior. We have conquered evil. He really should have known better. There were a lot more than one skeleton warrior there. So you little bastardly fire car, we 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 have to we have to and you do nothing. Just sit your ass down there. While letting us do all the hard work. What are the tears of Enos? The tears of Enos are nothing but an old child's tale. It tells of how the battle between Enos and Belly are started at the beginning of time. I found this potion. That cannot be. I cannot believe it. What's the matter? If these are really the genuine tears of Enos, then... Hardly. Do not interrupt me. If these are the real tears of Enos, then we have a powerful weapon against the enemy. Those are all just rumors. What do you mean by weapon? What Legend kind of weapon, true? It, that under the influence of this substance, the warriors of Enos were able to perform almost superhuman deeds. They were immune to all kinds of exhaustion and had the strength of two bears. The greatest heroic feats of the olden days were only made possible by the tears of Enos. I understand. But the tears can bring suffering and death as well. Only the members of our order may drink this draft. Anyone else, even the paladins of our lord, would face a cruel death. What can we do with them? So what are the tears of Enos? When Enos realized that he had to fight Beliar, his own brother, in order to preserve creation, his sorrow was great. He started to weep, and his tears fell down onto the world. There were many of them, for his heart was so full of grief that he wept for 13 years. Wait, 13 years. Get to the point. The people who found his tears and tasted them were filled with supernatural strength and clarity. They recognized the wisdom of Enos's creation and began to serve him. They were the first members of the community of the fire. The tears gave them strength, courage, and wisdom. But that is all. 
very long ago. And it has been more than 250 years since anyone last set eyes on a tear of Enos. What's Xardas had that? I've been able to open Zardas's book. What? How did you do that? It well nigh drove me to despair. Zardas told me the trick. Ah, is that it? How interesting. I can only hope for you that Zardas's bad influence is not going to spoil you. I am warning you. Do not fall for the tricks of that old devil. You might come to regret it. I know where to find the halls of Irdarath. The temple is on an island. I found a nautical chart which shows the way. That is great! Then you will need a ship and a crew in order to face the enemy. But remember, you need to be well prepared if you want to vanquish the master of Idorath. You could help, you know. Crew? Your crew should consist of men you can trust. Talk to your friends and think about who could be useful to you once you are on the island. You are going to need a magician as well. But alas, I cannot spare a single man from the monastery. What about you Milton? You will have to ask a magician who is not working within the monastery. Jorgen is an experienced sailor. He could help me get to the Isle of Irdarath. That will not be so easy, I fear. He what? has signed on to work for the Brotherhood. He has neither paid the tribute nor brought us a sheep. Jorgen must finish his work first. Then you can take him with you if you like. How long will it take? He used up the provisions which would have lasted a novice three weeks and all on the first day. So I cannot let him go before he has worked hard in our gardens for three months. Three months, wow. What do I have to do so I can take Jorgen with me now? Hmm. There is indeed one thing you could do for me. Your good rapport with Zardas could help you with that. It has come to my attention that during these last few days, Strange things have been going on in his tower. Many of the town people hear loud screams at night coming oh, we dealt with that. and see strange lights dancing over his tower, as if we didn't have our plate full already. Go check what is going on there and make it stop. Then you can have Jorgen. Yeah. The thing with Zardas' oh, thousand tower experience has again. itself. So what was going on? No, wait. I do not There's some demons. To know. If you still want Jorgen, then go ahead and take him on your journey. May Enos protect you. That was the easiest quest for the the first captain of the crew that we could take. But we don't want Jorgen, we just wanted him to be free and finish his quest. Where is the guy now? There is nowhere where he can sleep here, right? As far as I know, there is nothing. You don't have to ask me that. Ooh, 10,000. 9,800 experience, that's quite, quite a lot. Where does this go? Hey, All right, you. for your land, what are you doing here? Why are you here even? Is there a lot of in here? No. Smart kid. Very smart, I know. Thank you very much. Where is the guy even? Ah, oh, there he is, Jorgen. Hey, you want your experience? How's life in the monastery? I'm going out of my mind here. Somehow we did the really quest before we started it. Those ever nagging do-gooders. Well, what's a body to do? Before I starve in town, I'd rather do what the novices tell me to. You'll be all right, I think. Just imagine. I'm expected to weed their garden. If this carries on much longer, I'll go bonkers. What well, I need though. is some good old planks beneath my feet. I took care of your bill. You're free. Really? How'd you manage that? You don't want to know. Oh, well, not that I really care. Thanks a million again. Now, what about your offer? Can I still sign on with you? We're going to save and see if we can get him as a captain and then ditch him as a captain. Because they give us experience if hey. we get them. Be my cap I feel honored. But do you even have a ship and a crew? I should say we'll need uh, five men at least. Good. I'll see what I can do. 
Wait for me at the harbor. Aye, aye, sir. Wait a minute. We don't need you. Okay, we cannot do that. If we do that, then we are going to lose the access to the other captains. <sighs> and he didn't give us any experience. So we are going to make a cut here. In the next episode, we are going to go and start recruiting some people. Milton is going to be our first. Hey, I heard you spent a long time in the monastery cellars. What did you find out? Right. I know now where the enemy is hiding. It's a small island not far from here. This is our big chance. We have to set out at once and destroy evil forever. Have you talked to Diego about it? I think he would want to accompany you. I know he would. What about Gorn? Talk to him. I heard that he has returned from the Valley of Mines. And don't forget Lester. Very true. Drag Those him out people He'll rot there. are going to be with us. I also know my role in all this. I can increase your mana and be helpful in constructing runes once we face the enemy. We are mercenary. We, we have no access to magic, my friend. Welcome aboard. We should meet at the harbor. Wait for me there. Good. I'll be there when you're ready. Where shall I look for? Oh, he tells us about that Ask also. Jorgen. He's a sailor after all. He should still be in the monastery. But if he can't help you, you'll have to look for someone on the farms or in the city who can navigate your ship. The best thing to do is to talk to Lee or go to the harbor of Corinnus. I can't think of anything better at the moment. Okay, guess we explore the monastery. The next episode, we are going to to do some clearing, you know, around the world, monsters and the caves and stuff, and then we are going to come back and get all our people, or maybe go to Yarkandar and clear it there. I think it's Yarkandar. We shall see in the next episode. So, thank you very, very much, guys, for joining me. I hope you had as much fun as me in this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Be cool and bye bye.